Hi, I'm Doug. I'm the chef owner of the Uncommon Kitchen here in Tahoe City, California. And today we're going to be making one of my personal favorite dishes here at the deli, fish tacos. And the cousin of the fish taco, the fish taco salad. So to start off with fish tacos, we need the chili powder seasoning, which is the key to our fish tacos and any good fish taco. And here I have some spices. I have paprika, uh, oregano, dried, dried uh, ground cumin. And these are California chili pods that have been toasted in the oven for eight minutes at 350 degrees. So here I have a hot saute pan dry and one at a time we're going to take our spices. I'm going to start off with the cumin and throw it into our dry pan over a low heat and let that toast while we go ahead and de-seed our chili pods. Uh, there's the stem comes right off when they're dried and you can crack them open and remove the seeds and add them to the bowl, which all of our ingredients are going to wind up in. So just remove the seed, the stem and pour out the seeds. And you just want the spices to start smoking lightly and changing color to a toasted brown. So I think that's good on the cumin. And we're going to add our paprika next. Now this chili powder can be used for fish tacos, uh, vegetable tacos, tofu tacos, chicken tacos, beef tacos, as well as being a, an excellent chili powder for making a batch of chili with. Okay, we got a nice toasted color on our paprika. Lastly, in the pan is going our dried oregano. And the smell of these spices while they're toasting is, is just wonderful. It's very aromatic. Whenever we're toasting the spices here at the deli, customers always are asking what, what's cooking. The oregano doesn't take as long to toast, it's very delicate, but you can really smell the aroma of it. And so that's going into the bowl. And we'll take all these ingredients to our food processor and blend them up and make our chili powder. Now that we've got our spices ground, we're going to take uh, the fish that I've cut into half inch cubes. I've got a combination of shrimp, salmon, and Alaskan cod. And we're going to take the fish and mix it with our spices. Two tablespoons of this chili powder. a teaspoon of garlic and about a tablespoon of olive oil and mix that all together and let it marinate for 15-20 minutes. And meanwhile, we're going to make our guacamole, a dull 
butter knife or a tool to carve the avocados into diced pieces like that and then those can go right into our bowl. More of those. We don't like to blend our guacamole here at the Uncommon Kitchen. We like it chunky, like a salsa. Next will be our onion. Medium dice. And one tomato. Diced. Uh, one serrano chili. Remove the stem. Cut it in half. chopped with the seeds in it. This guacamole is a spicy version of guacamole. If you like it especially spicy, then I recommend adding a whole another serrano chili. It's delicious. And it keeps the kids away from the guacamole because they don't like it spicy. Uh, cilantro. Half a lime, juiced. And we're gonna add some salt to this. And mix it up. Goes excellent with chips and cold beer as well as fish tacos. All right, there's our chunky guacamole. And here we have our salsa fresca. And the salsa fresca recipe you can find on the Rocco video that we did. Uh, it's already on the YouTube channel. And next we're gonna prepare some sliced cabbage. And I'm gonna take a quarter of the cabbage and remove the core. And then we're gonna take this tool and it's called a mandolin. It's got a very sharp razor blade right here, so watch your fingers. You can cut the cabbage with a knife, but the mandolin does a great job of making very thin slices. But like I say, watch your fingers. For our tacos, we have the lemon tahini dressing for the fish taco salad and sour cream for the tacos. All right, let's go and sear our fish. So here we are, we're going to pan sear our fish tacos. The fish has been marinated in the chili powder, seasoning, garlic, and oil. And we've got our hot pan ready to go. We've got another hot pan to heat our tortillas in. And so let's begin by taking some olive oil in our hot pan. I'm going to add a little bit of red onion and let that saute for a few seconds first. I'm 
And then we'll take our fish shrimp mix and put it into the pan. And a healthy pinch of salt. And we'll let those sear. Meanwhile, we're going to take our corn tortillas, doubled, two, two tortillas per taco, and dip them in water. Put them in our hot dry pan. And let those just sit and crisp up on the one side and then we'll flip them over. We want our fish to be fully cooked through so you can check by pressing on the fish with the spoon and if there's any resistance it's still underdone. We want the fish to be fully cooked. Alright, I think the fish is ready. Feels soft to the touch when I press it with the spoon. Tortillas should be soft and flexible and warm. We're going to put these onto our plate. And let's head over to the table and we'll assemble the fish tacos. Alright, here we have our two plates set up, uh, one with uh, baby greens and some carrot ribbons and purple cabbage. And over here I have our corn tortillas that have been uh, dry roasted in the pan, some thin sliced cabbage to accompany it. Got our seared fish here with a generous bit of fish in the bottom of the tortillas. Put the rest over the top of the salad. And then these get finished. Tacos with sour cream and guacamole. guacamole for the fish taco salad. Salsa fresca on the side for the tacos. Put the salsa fresca scattered about on the salad. Some lime wedges. And some lemon tahini dressing for the fish taco salad. And finish with a little bit of cilantro. And there you have fish tacos and fish taco salad. Compliments of the Uncommon Kitchen. Bon appetit.